Okay, so this piece I actually got for free. It was on the side of the road and a former client of mine gave me a call and let me know that it was there. And so I nabbed it. Looks like it's solid. Um, my plan is to use it as um, kind of like a kid's toy chest or something like that. So I'm gonna remove the base and add on some different legs. I'm gonna sand down the top and get natural wood legs. And then for these doors, I'm gonna fill in these details, um, remove the hardware, and so I'm gonna paint the body of it and have wood top, wood legs. So let's get started. On the fronts of these doors, I'm filling it with Bondo. Um, with the Bondo, you take a little bit of the Bondo and then you add the blue hardening agent and mix it up. I'm doing it in small batches because it dries really quick. And then once it was dry, I sanded it uh, down. Okay, so now I'm going to sand down the top all the way down to wood. And I'm also gonna work on taking off this base. I'm gonna replace it with some different legs. Um, so I'll show you how I do that. So it looks like it's just attached with um, some screws all the way around. So I'll unscrew those see how it comes off. Actually really happy. This um, base is a nice solid place that I'll be able to put the new legs into. Um, and then there's still this little lip. Um, I'm planning on painting the body. So I'm just gonna scuff, scan, scuff sand the sides and this and I'll sand the top down to bare wood. Anytime I'm staining wood, I use a 120 grit to get down to bare wood and then I'll make a second pass with 220 grit sandpaper. This is the top. You can see that it's coming apart a little bit here. So I'm gonna add some wood glue to that seam and clamp it just so it's really sturdy. Once you do one coat of primer, you'll often see a lot more imperfections and little holes, so I'm filling that in with the Bondo Glazing Putty. It's a very fine mixture and it fills those tiny little holes well. So then I sand that down once it's dry and add a second coat of primer. Now I'm starting the staining process for the legs and the top of the bench. 
I did two coats on the legs and three coats on the top of the bench. This product does have a sealer built in, but I ended up using um, a clear coat of polyurethane on top also, just for some extra durability. Okay everyone, thank you so much for following along. Be sure to like and subscribe my page to see what I find next time. Bye!